guys, it's Paul, and I have something for you today that you are going to love. Today we are taking a look at another figure from the Mythic Legion's All-Stars 5 Plus Wave. This guy is a badass skeleton named Ilgar. So this is Ilgar. Now, Ilgar is one of the All-Stars 5 Plus Wave. This is one of the figures that the fans voted for, and this is a reissue of a figure that came out a long time ago. was really rare, very limited production of the first one. He was very hard to find. If you did find him, they wanted a fortune for him. So Mythic Legions re-released this figure. Again, this was voted on by the fans. And here he is, Ilgar. Ilgar is awesome. He comes with two different heads. And let me say, I love the new packaging on these figures. The fact that they have the second head right up there in the packaging is beautiful. It used to be, and a lot of the older ones, the if they had a second head, it was in the bottom. It was in like a little accessories bag. So this packaging is stellar. Mythic Legions, the Four Horsemen, always kill it with their packaging, with the art. It's just all done so well. And this just kicked it up. It raised the bar. This is beautiful. Now, if you've been following the videos about this line, the painting on these guys is just outstanding. It's, it's above anything I've seen in the other lines. These guys are just so attention to detail driven that I just love them. And they are the new standard for these figures. The bones on this guy are so cool. They're just amazing. The paint is so neat. I'll show you when we get over to the table. This guy is incredible. Every single figure from this line has just been mind-blowing. Um, seriously, every time I open a new figure and take a look at it, I just can't believe how well these figures are. I mean, this version of the character is so much better than the earlier version. Just the way they've perfected the bodies, the way they've gotten the joints in, these things are just great. I, I love them. And so now I get to have some fun and break out all my skeletons, get this guy out, do like a nice photo shoot with him, with all the other skeletons, and you'll notice there's a lot of different looking skeletons. But I love that. You know, it gets boring when they all look the same. So like this guy is really unique. He has a, a very dark head in the skeleton head. And uh, he has like such a sort of burnt look to him. But then this other head completely changes it up. The helmeted with the gray beard with the bones underneath it. It just has a really, really cool dynamic. Like, this is one of those figures that, like, man, uh, you'll want to have another one so you can display each head on its own figure because they're both really, really nice. So I'm really happy with this guy. I really love the skeletons. Now, I said before that when I first saw anything Mythic Legions, it was the Sir Gerard skeleton. And as soon as I saw that, it took me back to a place when I was a kid and collecting Dungeons and Dragons and just staring at the artwork for hours. You know, going through the dragon magazines and cutting out clips and taping them to the back of my door. You know, this guy and the skeletons bring that back for me. And uh, these guys are awesome. So I'm really excited to open this guy up. Uh, I'm so happy to have this figure. I'm so glad they re-released him. And I'll tell you, this is uh, going to be a great addition to my skeleton army. So let's go over. Let's take a look at him with the rest of the guys.
This figure looks great right out of the packaging. Again, now you can kind of see the detailing in the color I was talking about. Look at the green tarnish on the figure's armor. Just going with that aged look. What a beautiful paint job. This line has just been exquisite. Love the detailing. Even his little vertebrae neck piece looks great. Love the little neck piece they give you with him. And you can see that green tarnish kind of carries through the whole figure. Through there on the armor and in the boots. And look at the bone color. Ah, oh, that is the best. I just love the paint job on these guys. I just don't even know if it can get much better than this. Beautiful. You know, as a custom painter, I've gone in and done this line work and stuff that you see on these figures. And even just that level of detail... That is so hard to do and to get right. And yet this figure, just from head to toe, is beautiful. This whole line, best painted line I've, I think I've ever seen. You know, well, amazing. When the pictures, you'll see him next to a lot of the other skeletons. And in some ways, he's just, I think he might be my favorite, just... Based on the, the way he's painted, it, it makes me want to go back and customize and paint a lot of my older figures. He is just gorgeous. Of course, he comes with the big pauldrons that pop into his back. These are some large, very dramatic looking pauldrons. The only downside to the big pauldrons, they look fantastic, but they do you know, limit some of their overhead movement. But they look great, you know. He looks fantastic with them on. Some of my figures I, I like to wear, uh, display them with the pauldrons, and some I don't. He looks really good. A very beautiful figure. Of course, he also comes with a beautiful tarnished sword. Very nicely done. Love the handle wrap. Love the detailing in the guard. Just a very nicely done sword that fits the character very well. And of course he has a belt loop that you can have him wear the sword on his hip. And of course he has one on each side. I love the skirt and the belt piece like this because it really shows the legs and sometimes with the skeletons um you know especially when they're painted as beautifully as this guy you just kind of want to see that he comes with a beautifully done shield very nice paint an axe and then he also, of course, the second head with the two blue wings that go in this helmet. And much like most of the other Mythic Legion's helmets, the the wings and stuff are slotted in to the helmet. So you can switch this with uh, different wings or horns or antlers. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you know, look really good, and I've seen some people do some really fun combinations, but let's pop his head off, and we'll put the helmeted head on and have a look at him. Now, I think with the, from the pictures I've seen, most of the time when they have this head, they do not have the shoulder pads on. Let's take a quick look at him with the shoulder pads on. It's very cumbersome. The shoulder pads kind of butt up against this head. So, but we'll just 
to give you a look at what he looks like with the shoulder pads. It is pretty cool looking, especially in this color scheme. He has a, a really... Oh, let's drop him on his face. Yeah, he kind of has a uh, a pretty cool look, though, with this giant beard. Again, his armor is so cool that to see him dress like this, uh, it, it kind of makes me feel like we're losing some of his armor. He is really cool. He has a very uh, kind of odd, different kind of look. Very cool, actually. Hmm. Damn. Yeah, this is definitely a figure that you might have to have two of. And he's he's so cool both ways. Yeah, that's a, it's almost surprising how good he looks with this helmeted head on. It, again, painted so well. Matches the armor. Even, you know, the bright blue wings. It, it just <laughs> figures gorgeous. Man, this line. Man, every single time I open one, I'm just so blown away by how good it looks. Man, I, I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I am really curious who likes the skeleton head better and who likes... Which, which head do you think works best on this guy? I'm really curious to hear what everybody else thinks. Or is there a different head that you're going to put on him? Hmm, I, I can't tell. I, oops, I ripped his neck off. Yeah, it'll give you a good look at the, the way the neck peg is painted. Really nice. Really cool. I, I love skeletons that are painted in this kind of style. You know, I, opposed to like somebody like, you know, he's very sun bleached bone. Um,. Whereas, you know, you look at that, that looks like he just crawled right out of the ground. Again, the Necronomus wave is coming out real soon. And I think those guys, they're just going to put a whole new level on your undead army. But yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm dying to hear what everybody thinks about this head. So this is about it for this guy. Let's do some pictures of him with some of his buddies. They're all hanging around here waiting to go. They're all like anxiously on the sides. So let's pose him up with some of these other skeletons and have a look at him. Another amazing skeleton by the Mythic Legions. You know, I love the skeleton army. That whole fraction is just amazing. And when you get a bunch together, they look so good. You just can't help but love the skeletons. Oh, man. I can't wait for more figures. I can't wait for more skeletons. The Necronomus wave is coming out soon. And, oh, my God, I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. So make sure you follow the Four Horsemen. Make sure you check out the Cabal. That's where everybody all gathers on Facebook. It's the best meeting place for like-minded Mythic Legions fans. So I'm sure you all know about it already. 
So thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing to the page. We'll see you next time on Toys in Motion. <laughs>